But before we sign off, tell us a little bit about how you got here. What's your story? It, it's uh, yeah, just been in business for a long time. Um, packed up my car in 1984 and moved to the Napa Valley because I started drinking wine and thought, well, that's what I want to do with my life. So I, I moved to Napa and I started working uh, in the cellar a little bit. Then I got, um, I started managing tasting rooms. And just one thing led to another, um, eventually made it to Oregon. But I, I started, um, even though I was in Napa Valley, I always had a fascination with Pinot Noir. So in 1986, I started making homemade Pinot Noir from a vineyard in the Carneros area and did that every year. And I had a tasting group and we would always taste Pinot Noirs. And then uh, my wife and I moved here in, um, in 1998 and her father died uh, right after that left her a little bit of money, and that's really what got the ball rolling. Now, we read uh, in your online information that you knew this was the place and before it was even up on the market. Yeah, very lucky to find this piece oh, of property. It was a great story. Yeah, lucky to find it. It was... I worked with a woman. I was consulting in another winery, uh, and... Uh, we were looking for property and been looking about eight months and one of the women I worked with uh, said well these friends of mine are thinking about selling this piece of property so so just this property would have been snatched up in a heartbeat had any had it gone on the market but uh, so I said well I want to come take a look at it and so I walked up here on a Sunday morning and uh, set set foot on it 15 minutes and called the person who owned <laughs> up and asked them what he wanted for it and uh by the end of the day we were signing papers so, yeah that see um, it was meant to be right yes, it was it meant, was meant to, be. to be absolutely yeah 